So I realized something really ironic the other day. All of the cool tech products that we see available on the market are designed by mechanical engineers uh, and of course, electrical and software engineers. And we rely on these same pieces of technology to do our job, make our job more fun and make ourselves more productive. Whether you're an engineer or engineering student. I graduated from college eight years ago, grad school four years ago, and then I worked in Boston and Silicon Valley designing tech and consumer electronic products for about four years as a mechanical engineer. And yeah, I feel old saying that out loud, but in each era, I vividly remember all the tech products I used from laptops to monitors to tablets because they had such a profound impact on my work and success, whether positive or negative. So I said to myself, why not make a video about all of my favorite tech products in 2024 when the options are better than ever? So here are 10 things for you. Of course, the links for all of these stuff will be in the video description below for you to check out. So first, of course, is a laptop. And I'll give you guys three options. I'm going to have a Windows option, Mac option, and a budget option. So in the Windows world, I have to go with the 2024 Asus ROG Zephyrus G16. Now, this laptop might be a little bit expensive, especially if you're a college student. But the way I think about it is this computer is an investment that I ideally plan to use for the next four to six years. It has a 2.5K OLED display, high-end NVIDIA RTX GPU, AMD Ryzen, AI9 CPU, great thermal management system and keyboard, as well as improved speakers. It only weighs in at 1.85 kilograms and supports fast charging. You can expect this laptop to handle the most intensive workloads, not just gaming, but also CADing, rendering, programming, simulations, whatever you need to get done. Now in the Mac world, I feel like the M3 Pro is the way to go with its 16 inch screen and hardware capabilities. Keep in mind, a lot of mechanical engineering software like CAD and CAE, as well as games, are only compatible with Windows, so you need to drop an extra $100 on parallels to run Windows on your MacBook. But no matter if you're getting the Windows or Mac option, you're getting a good one. So I do have a third option. It's more of a budget option if you're an engineering student. Consider a Dell Inspiron 3511. It has everything you need to make it through university. Now, no matter what laptop you get, I have one mouse recommendation, and that is the 3D Connexion CAD Mouse Pro wireless mouse. Its ergonomic design matches your natural hand position and concave buttons are perfect for reducing strain during extensive CAD or even gaming sessions. With seven buttons and a 7200 DPI, this is honestly one of the most versatile and easy to recommend mouse for me. If you're looking for a more general purpose mouse, check out the Logitech MX Master 3S. It's also top of the line. Now you have a laptop and a mouse. Next, Next, you need a monitor. The common issues of using laptops and poorly designed monitors are bad text clarity, strong blue light and brightness, and eye strain and muscle pain after long-term use. This is because the screen is either too high or too low relative to your eyes. The way I look at it is, if you're an engineer or engineering student, then you need to invest in a high quality monitor for the sake of your health and productivity. The RD280UA monitor by BenQ, the sponsor of today's video, is a standout choice and a game changer. You guys know I would only recommend products I personally use myself, and this BenQ monitor is one of the best I've used for engineering and programming applications. The RD programming series, which is the world's first and best monitor series dedicated for engineers and programmers, is equipped with special design color modes and revolutionary eye care technology to match your productivity needs on your engineering journey. This 28 inch monitor features an ultra high definition resolution offering insanely high text and image clarity. It has a dedicated 3 to 2 aspect ratio for engineers to fit more onto the screen. The screen uses a reflection-free technology that minimizes contrast glare. How cool is that? Now my favorite feature is the moon halo backlight that protects your eyes in low light environments by auto adjusting the brightness and color temperature to match your workspace. The height orientation tilt and swivel of this monitor can all easily be adjusted with this ergo 
alarm that attaches to your desk in seconds. All functions can be accessed via the function bar, including an exclusive coding mode that enhances code visibility and makes each line of code stand out effortlessly. Low Blue Light Plus technology allows the display brightness to be automatically or manually adjusted throughout the day as well as night hours protection. Check this out guys, the monitor even allows you to assign different color modes to different software you are using, rapidly switch between settings, and assign hotkeys via BenQ's free software, Display Pilot 2. BenQ takes productivity to another level by adding a built-in KVM switch that allows you to control two or more systems with the same keyboard and mouse. So for those of you looking for an amazing monitor, I'll drop a link down in the description below for the RD280UA monitor, as well as links to the RD280U monitor, which is just the stand version without the ergo arm, and the RD240Q monitor, which is the lower resolution 24 inch version. If you're an engineering student or engineer, you definitely will be taking notes, performing calculations, and making sketches and schematics, and having a tablet and stylus will be incredibly useful. <laughs> a tablet is one of those things you won't know you need until you actually have one. The iPad Air and Apple Pencil is an excellent choice. There are a lot of great note-taking apps available like Notion or Notability for jotting down things and staying organized. Writing things down in a physical notebook or laptop just doesn't cut it for me. The portability of a tablet is also great if you're doing some last minute studying or prepping for a meeting where carrying a laptop is just unrealistic. Now, if you're going off to college and you'll be studying in a noisy environment or you're an engineer working in an office setting where people are talking and in meetings all day, noise canceling earphones can be a complete game changer. The AirPods Pro have been great for me. The shape, the features, the sound, the fit, pretty much everything about them. And even better, they're IP54, water, dust, and sweat resistant for those of you who work out. The best part about wireless earphones is that you can slip them on whenever and wherever without anyone ever noticing. Whether you're listening to something during a lecture or talking to someone during work, your professor and coworkers won't ever know. You can't really do that with headphones. So that's why I'm recommending earphones over headphones. Next, let's talk about external hard drives. This is a must have for engineers and engineering students because most of our files are easily several gigabytes in size, whether it's CAD files, videos, or simulation results. The SanDisk G Drive Armor ATD has been awesome for me. It's rugged, it's durable, it's quiet, and protects your data from accidental drops. The ultra fast 140 megabyte per second transfer rate is a luxury to have, and it comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable. What more can you ask for? Now, another piece of essential tech is, of course, a scientific calculator. This is my TI-84 Plus from a decade ago, and it still functions perfectly. However, I recommend getting the TI-84 Plus CE, which has an LED display, rechargeable batteries, as well as an upgraded design, apps, and functions. This is especially true if you're an engineering student in university. Homeworks, quizzes, and exams all require one. Even if you're an engineer, I find that having a calculator on my desk beats having to open up Excel or MATLAB for quick calculations. I already have a dozen other softwares open, so having a calculator definitely makes things easier. You can even write custom programs to automate repair repetitive calculations to save time and prevent yourself from making silly math errors. All right, so what about smartphones? You can't go wrong with an iPhone 15 Pro. The Pro camera system takes super high res photos with up to 10 times optical zoom, improved battery life, and supports USB 3 for up to 20 times faster transfers. If you have an iPad or Mac, you have even better reason to get this phone for the airdrop functionality. Transferring files wirelessly between devices is a luxury to have. Now, I have friends who absolutely absolutely despise Apple. And if you're one of those people, check out the Samsung Galaxy S24, another solid phone that you can't go wrong with. Now, a lot of times your smartphone won't be with you, you accidentally misplaced it, or it's simply not a good time to pull out your phone. This is when having a smartwatch is super useful. The Apple Watch is a really easy recommendation for me. It's fashionable and provides quick notifications of emails, messages, and calls, so I don't have to constantly check my phone. Of course, it can track your heart rate, 
rate and the number of steps you've taken throughout the day, which is great if you have any fitness goals. Oh yeah, one last thing I should have mentioned earlier was a laptop stand. This is a 12 South curve stand that I have and it's great. It's been a huge difference maker in relieving my neck and shoulder strain because of its ergonomic design. It actually raises the laptop six inches off your desk so you can sit straight. I remember all of the desks and tables in my university dorms and classrooms were all super low so I had to look down all the time which is super bad for your neck by the way. So definitely invest in a laptop stand. So there you have it my first set of tech recommendations for engineers and engineering students. These are 10 pieces of tech to make your life better and your work more productive. Let me know if I missed anything. Shout out to everyone who graduated this summer. Best of luck to whatever your plans are and may they be filled with tech. As always thank you so much for watching and thanks again BenQ for sponsoring this video. Of course everything I talked about you can check out through the links down below in the video description. All right see you guys in the next one. Peace.